In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make your own glass palette. I recommend glass palettes because they are so much easier to use than wooden palettes. If you've ever tried to clean a wooden palette, you know what I mean. But with a glass palette, you can use a glass scraper or a razor blade and clean a palette in a matter of seconds. You can also scrape off paint that is dried. You can scrape off old mediums that dry either gummy or hard. They're just superior to wooden palettes. You can actually even have a hole cut in them for your thumb if you like holding a palette in your hand. Make sure it's tempered glass. If you drop your palette or if it breaks, it's less likely to cut you. And also, when you have it cut at your local glass store, have them sand the edges of the glass. They do this all the time for shelving, so it's something that they can easily do. I use a glass palette in my studio, and I also have a glass palette when I'm in the field painting in plein air. The size of my studio palette is 2 feet by 4 feet. I put mine on top of a piece of wood. I also have a paper towel holder mounted under the palette, so all I have to do is reach down with my left hand and grab paper towels when I'm wiping my brushes and cleaning. I also have my palette set on a table that rolls, because then you can roll it up against a wall and move it out of your way. So I'll take you through the process of making this glass palette. What I'm going to do today is use a small piece of glass because I already have two palettes in my studio that are big and so I'll show you on a small scale of how to make one and then you can make yours whatever size you want. First go to your local glass company and have them cut the glass the size that you want. I would recommend a size of at least two feet by three feet and also get quarter inch plate glass ask for tempered glass. It's worth the investment because this palette will last you a lifetime. Be sure to ask them to sand the edges. When you get the glass home, wash it with soap and water to get any oil or any dust and dirt off of the glass. Even though your glass is tempered, I like to use this clear transparent shelving material. You can buy it in rolls at Walmart and what it does is it gives you an extra level of security in case you drop the glass or in case something falls on it and it breaks. It will help hold the glass together. I actually mount it on the back of the glass and then I paint this plastic. The glass is actually not painted, the plastic is. Then if you ever have to remove it or use the glass for something else, you can. So unroll the laminate material. Obviously your palette's going to be bigger than this. This is just the sample palette. Cut it to the right length. Make it bigger than your palette. It's got this curl in it, so I like to tape it down. When you do this on a larger piece of glass, you can unroll the laminate right onto the back of the glass. In this case, I have it setting on a table. It's only because this glass is a small piece. Okay, after you get the laminate on the glass, trim the laminate with a razor blade. Press all the bubbles out. If you get a bubble in there that's bad, just take your razor blade and cut the bubble, and then it'll press the air out. I like to use an off-white paint, something that's not real bright. Remember, you're painting the plastic, you're not painting the glass. So make sure you paint the back of the palette. And then on a bigger palette, you would use a roller like this. Remember, I'm painting the plastic, I'm not painting the glass. You could probably get away with one coat, but I usually put two coats of paint on mine. Put one coat on, then let it dry, and then put another coat on, let that dry. Then you're ready for the next step. Now we want to tape the edges just for safety. Just to soften the edges so you don't cut your fingers. I'm taping on the back of the glass and folding it over to the front. I think you'll really like the glass palette. They make mixing paint easy, they make cleanup easy, and they're easy to make. So make your own glass palette. 